welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do this really patriotic look for the 4th of July. I literally have been planning this look for about two months now. I didn't know what I was exactly going to do, but I knew I wanted to do glitter lashes and that's basically what I did. I wanted to do something that everyone can recreate at home and this is actually pretty basic. The only wow thing is the lashes but every like the eyeshadow and all of that pretty basic. Um, you can skip on the lashes obviously if you want to but since it's the 4th of July I would say go all out. I had so much fun doing this look. I literally went all out. I have some like bling thingies on my hair. I don't know if you guys can see it somewhere on my curls and I also have this sparkly light up necklace and my earrings. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now let's jump right into the tutorial. Okay so to begin I already primed my eyelid using my favorite primer by Laura Mercier in Flex. Now I'm going to highlight my brow bone using Max Vanilla Eyeshadow with a MAC 242 brush. Okay, now for the lid, I'm going to use this Maybelline Color Tattoo in the color 30 Pomegranate Punk with a Sephora Cream Shadow Brush. And I'm just going to apply that all over the eyelid, blending it onto the crease. I'm also going to take this same color underneath the lash line. Just like this. Now with this step and the next step that I'm about to show you, you want to work with one eye at a time because if you let the cream shadow set, for too long then it's not really going to hold on to the powder shadow. Now we're going to move on to the powder shadow and this is a MAC eyeshadow called Expensive Pink and I'm going to be applying it with a Makeup Forever 228 brush all over the first base. Now I'm going to line the waterline and I'm going to be using this Marc Jacobs highliner in the color Think I believe. It's just a really dark blue. Now to create some smokiness underneath my lash line I'm going to be using this Giorgio Armani eyeshadow. It's a really really deep dark navy blue eyeshadow with a Makeup Forever 23 brush and I'm just going to be applying it really close to the lash line, blending it downwards. Now to tight line my top waterline, I'm going to be using the Benefit Push Up Liner in the black version. Now if you're not familiar with tight lining, it basically is just coloring in between your lashes so you're hiding the skin. Whenever you apply mascara or falsies, the skin doesn't show and it just looks like one solid black line. And it also helps your lash line look thicker. Okay, so I'm back with my liner and I already applied mascara on my top and bottom lashes, just one coat. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply my false lashes. I'm going to be using Coco's Lashes in Goddesses. And what I did was I got some Inglot gel eyeliners. I got a white, red, and blue. And I basically painted the outer part of the lashes, red, white, and blue. By painting the lashes these colors, you're basically creating a base for the glitter so the glitter shows up even better. So here's how the lashes look like without the glitter. So just in case you want something a little bit less dramatic, you can skip on the glitter and it still looks really pretty. Okay, so for the glitter, I used three Naked Cosmetics glitters, red, white, and blue. And here they are. So we have red, blue, and this is the white one. And I poured a little bit of each glitter onto a mixing palette and mixed it with my Lit Cosmetics glitter base. So that's basically what I'm going to do with every single color. I just can't show you because it's really hard on camera. I'm going to start off with the blue since the blue is at the very outer part of the eye. Okay, so I'm not sure if you guys can see but I have all three glitters right here. And I'm going to be using a really tiny brush. I'm going to dip it into my glue and since I'm going to start off with the glue, I'm going to apply it to the glue and just mix it. And just go ahead and apply it to your lashes. I'm focusing the glitter more onto the tips and the middle of the lashes, not so much on the roots because it's going to create a really pretty gradient effect. Now I'm going to go ahead and do a mixture of my white glitter. Oh my gosh, so I forgot to tell you guys that whatever color glitter you apply to your top lashes, you want to make sure you do it to the, the bottom lashes as well. So I'm going to have to go back and apply the same color glitter to the bottom lashes. So since I have red right here, then I'm going to apply the red right here. White with white and blue with blue. Okay, and the last and final step is to apply some black mascara to the part that we didn't apply glitter. So the black part of the lashes, which is the inner part and also at the bottom of the lashes. Okay, so there's actually one more step. I'm going to take that same deep blue shadow by Giorgio Armani 
and this is gonna go right on the outer part of our eye. So just apply it to the outer part of your eye to create a little bit of depth and smokiness there too, but you don't wanna apply too, too much. Okay, so that basically completes the look. This is the final finish. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for future videos so you don't miss out on those. You can share this video with your friends if y'all plan to do like the same look for the 4th of July. That would be really fun. Don't forget that you can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. I will also have all the products listed that I have on my face down in the description bar below. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.